we are asked to use the graph to complete the ordered pairs. Looking at the ordered pairs, remember each ordered pair consists of two values, where the first value is the input, often referred to as the x value or x coordinate, and the second value is the output, often referred to as the y value or y coordinate. And we always find the inputs or x values along the horizontal axis, and we always find the outputs or y values along the vertical axis. Looking at the first ordered pair, notice how we are given the input or x value of negative two, our goal is to find the corresponding output or corresponding y value. Because we are given the input or x value, we first locate negative two on the horizontal axis, which is here. Anywhere along this vertical line, the input or x value is negative two, but we're looking for the point on the graph, and therefore, from negative two on the horizontal axis, we move up to the point on the graph. This is the point on the graph where the input or x value is negative two. To find the corresponding output or y value, we now move straight to the vertical axis or horizontally to the vertical axis where we can see the output or y value is positive four. The ordered pair is negative two comma four that represents this point on the graph. Now looking at the next ordered pair, notice how we have an unknown input or unknown x value and we are given an output or y value of negative three. So to find this ordered pair, we locate negative three on the vertical axis, which is here. Anywhere along this horizontal line, the y value or output is negative three, but we're looking for the point on the graph, and therefore from here we move horizontally to the graph to this point. This is the point on the graph where the output or y value is negative three. To find the input, we move straight to the horizontal axis where we move vertically to the horizontal axis where we can see the input or x value is positive five. The order pair is five comma negative three, which is represented by this point here. For the next ordered pair, we are given the output or y value of zero. So we now locate zero on the vertical axis, which is here. Anywhere along this horizontal line or the x-axis, the output or y value is zero. To locate the point on the graph, we move horizontally to the graph to this point here. This is the point on the graph where the output or y value is zero. And notice how we are already on the horizontal axis and therefore we know the input or x value is positive two. The ordered pair is two comma zero for this point on the graph. Next, we have an input of positive four. We locate positive four on the horizontal axis which is here. Anywhere along this vertical line, the input or x value is positive four. To locate the point on the graph when the input is positive four, we move straight down to the graph to here. This is the point on the graph where the input or x value is positive four. To find the corresponding output or y value, we move horizontally to the vertical axis where we can see the output or y value is negative two, giving us the ordered pair four comma negative two which would be the ordered pair or coordinates for this point here. For the next ordered pair, we are given the output or y value of positive three. So we locate positive three on the vertical axis, which is here. Move horizontally to the graph, which would be in this direction. This is the point on the graph where the output is positive three. We move vertically to the horizontal axis to find the input or x value, which we can see is negative one. The ordered pair is negative one comma three, which is the ordered pair for this point here. And finally, for the last ordered pair, notice how we are given the input of zero, and therefore we locate zero on the horizontal axis, which would be here. We move vertically up to the graph to this point. This is the point on the graph where the input is zero. Notice how we are on the vertical axis and therefore we know the corresponding output or y value is positive two. The order pair is zero comma two. One more thing to mention, notice how the line intersects the horizontal axis at two comma zero. This is called the horizontal intercept of the graph and the line intersects the vertical axis at this point represented by the ordered pair zero comma two. Zero comma two is the vertical intercept of the graph. I hope you found this helpful.